We can also edit a range of cues. Be aware that when editing a range, there are still tracking implications when we're modifying our data. Let's go ahead and select a range of cues. We're gonna say Q21 through 25, enter. And we want to select channel three at, and it is currently not in this queue. So when we give it a level, we'll say 75, enter. It's going to track on through. I'm gonna scroll down so we can see that a little better. Because there were no other move instructions until it encountered our block in Q32, it's going to track through normally. Let's go ahead and undo that. We'll need to press undo and then our page up arrow once to select the command, followed by a double enter since we're undoing multiple commands. This time we're going to say three at 75, Q only, enter. And what that does is within the range, that value will track normally but it's going to stop that channel from tracking outside of our range by adding a move instruction in Q26 to restore it to where it was. We can also search for values across a range of queues and replace those values. So if we say Q1 through 15, enter. I can say channels one through 10 at 35, replace with, which is a soft key, 50. And what this is going to do is find any instance of a 35% value in this range and replace it with 50%. All tracking rules will still apply throughout this range. We can also move cues. So while we're still in blind here, let's look at channels 51 through 82. And I'm going to say Q13, and I wanna move that to Q0.5. So I'm gonna hit copy to twice to get move to on our command line and type in 0 0.5. So I'm putting this queue before everything else in our show so far. Enter and I need to press enter again since I am creating a new queue. So if we look at channel 51, we can see that the move instructions from Q13, which we have moved into Q 0 0.5, have now tracked through into all of our subsequent queues. This isn't what we wanted to happen today, so let's undo that. We'll need to press up again on our undo. Enter, enter. And this time we're going to do that with a Q only appended to our command line. So we'll say Q13, copy to, copy to, 0 0.5, Q only, enter and confirm. And now if we look at channel 51, you'll see that the Q only behavior was followed with Q1 looking like it was before we made the move. For now, let's go ahead and undo that as well. We'll press undo with a page up to highlight our command. Enter, enter. Note that you can also move ranges of queues in addition to single queues, but pay attention to your tracking implications that will affect any subsequent queues.